Hello, it is about six o'clock in the evening and I've just semi-spontaneously picked up the camera um, because tomorrow Harvey and I are going on a big hill walk in the lakes and I thought that I might film a video this evening where I show you how we kind of prepare and plan for going on a hike. We're going to the Lake District and we live a couple of hours away. So we're going to be getting up super early to drive up there. So we need to have everything sorted this evening, bags packed, van packed, route planned, breakfast ready, food ready, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is kind of normal. This is what we normally do if we are going somewhere to go for a big walk. Um, so we kind of, we have our roles that we've settled into. Harvey sorts the van out. I sort food out. So I'll probably cook dinner and prepare our food that we're gonna take on the walk tomorrow. And then we'll both sort out our bags together because we obviously don't need to double up on stuff. He'll carry some stuff, I'll carry other stuff. And then we'll um, chat about what route we're gonna talk we're gonna take get our clothes ready check the weather all that kind of stuff i'll talk you through it all as we go this is the recipe i'm using it's such a good recipe here are my ingredients pretty simple pretty basic very delicious it's terrible are you eating my cake yeah <laughs> So now this is going in the oven for almost an hour actually. So the next thing I'm going to do is make us some breakfast for the morning. I'm going to make um, overnight oats with chia seed and mango. Okay, so this is the food that we're taking with us tomorrow. These are our sandwiches and then I've got some grapes and nuts. Um, loads of outdoor provisions bars, some granola, um, coffee which we'll probably have in the van when we arrive, Oslo's food and that's the overnight oats which we'll have for breakfast. Oslo, are we going back to your homeland tomorrow? Yeah. Are we? Are we what going back back to Oslo's homeland? What? Not now, tomorrow. He's like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm going. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so our plan is that we are going to park around Jubilee Bridge in this parking area on Hard Knot Pass. And then we will follow this path that goes alongside the River Esk um, up through this valley. And then we will take this track which heads up to over Great Moss. And then at this crossroads here we'll take the right hand branch and then head up this saddle up to Scarfell Pike and then back down the other side back around to the crossroads and then when we get to here we've got two options the easier option would be to go back the way we came um, but if we are feeling up for it there's a slightly longer option which would be to take this track all the way down a slightly different valley it looks like to stay a little bit higher I think yeah maybe it comes yeah. down through past those crags yeah it? past these crags which might be kind of cool yeah um, but we can't see anywhere to cross over the river, so it means that we we have to go down to the road here at Wahouse Bridge and then along the road for a little bit. So we'll add on a little bit of distance. But I've also plotted it on the Ordnance Survey website, which I use quite regularly, um, and it's come up, for that longer route, it's come up as exactly 11 miles. Um, and yeah, all the tracks appear to be there, everything, yeah, so everything looks good. So yeah, we'll just see how we feel tomorrow. I think that's, um, yeah, the way it goes with walking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, yeah. Some seeds and loads of outdoor provisions bars. Okay, yeah, I've got the sandwiches. And then we've got sandwiches, and then that's banana cake, but should I leave that here when we get back? So just basically follow the stream. Bridge. Yeah. So when we get to this bridge, then we'll get the map out again and I'll check again. <laughs> I've got my waterproof trousers on now and we're both fully waterproofed up so yeah I think the worst of the weather the worst of the weather is supposed to be this morning there's a harvey there's no bugs no exactly yeah, yeah. no midges no midges Just... no one else no people no people around yeah um it's a win a win-win yeah sure. Oslo's having a great time <laughs> yeah that's most important Oslo. This is Sunji. Mm. Oh, they're pretty. And that'll be Bog Aspidel. So that that's Sunju. Yep, that's and that's Bog Asphodel. Look at that. So a little check-in as to where we are at. We followed the River Esk up through the valley and we've just come out at this really beautiful flat section with all these crags and peaks around us and um, we had originally planned to go up through this crag here but there's another path that kind of just follows the river round, the River Esk around um, and stays flat so we're going to do that instead before we start the main bit of climbing up to the summit
I'm just now walking up this little valley. It is bloody steep, like proper scree as well. So it's really hard. So you just kind of take a step and then slip down a little. But we're almost up at the saddle, which means we've done the majority of the climbing. And then we just got a little bit more. Oh my God, I'm literally sliding down this slope. <laughs> we made it! We made it to fell. Someone wants a treat. But yeah, we made it here. There's Harvey. Um, yep. Absolutely no view from the highest point in England, but also no wind. So we're gonna... And it's quiet. It's very, it's like dead silent. In fact, there's probably someone up here listening to me like... <laughs> <laughs> because it's so quiet um, but yeah because there's no wind it's quite warm so we're gonna have some food up here before starting our descent I've got my Vegemite sandwich but it's more like a doorstep oh what? a doorstop <laughs> summit slightly the wrong way in fact totally the wrong way <laughs> we basically ended up on a different track as you can see there's no visibility so you can't see hardly any cairns until you're right up to them and the paths are pretty vague so we ended up on the main tourist track but realized pretty quickly Harvey took a bearing didn't you yeah, so I just took a bearing down the path and, that, and then that showed that actually we were heading in the wrong direction. Yeah. So um, we were kind of a bit confused as to why we hadn't hit the right path. Mm -hmm. So we thought, okay, we'll follow the main track back up yeah. and look for the split. Yeah. And you yeah. It was clear, wasn't it? You noticed yeah, it's pretty, pretty vague, but we knew we were looking for a split in the path and I was like, hey, that's a can. And then for a second I was like, wait, is that the same one we've just come back? <laughs> it's so disorientating when the weather's like this, but... Yeah. Yeah, right, so we're on, yeah. So we basically, yeah. so then we came down that track, took another bearing. Yeah. Which said, yep, you know, on showed us on the map that we were heading in the right direction. Yeah.
was love. Did you have the best walk ever today? Oh, yes. Uh, very good, thank you. Now, uh, fish and chips. Fish and chips? Mmm. <gasps>